GTA Online finally got its long-awaited summer DLC in the form of Criminal Enterprises on July 26. The mega update introduced many changes and new content to the game. Speaking of changes, all criminal careers, biker, CEO, gunrunner, and nightclub owner, received heavy alterations. There are quite a few new activities and ways to make more money. If you enjoy this video a thumbs up would be gladly appreciated. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Criminal Enterprises has made businesses in GTA Online fun again. Bikers? This update has brought in new features that have made the MC Clubhouse worthwhile. Earlier, players only visited it to buy new businesses. The MC Clubhouse now has a fully functional bar with Cindy at the helm, serving drinks to thirsty patrons. That said, running the bar results in the club earning a passive income. For things to work smoothly, presidents must resupply the bar every now and then to keep the cash flowing. The missions are straightforward, and can be triggered by talking to Cindy behind the bar. Once they begin, users will need to go to the marked location, pick up the supplies and bring them back. There may be rival clubs and law enforcement giving chase, however. GTA Online bikers also have two new clubhouse contracts to complete. These can be triggered by interacting with the posters in the conference room. One of the missions is called Life and Death and involves the usage of the Arena Wars death bike. Gamers are first tasked to steal a concept motorcycle and wreak havoc on rival gangs like Kingpy, Vagush, and Ballas. The second new mission is called Hit the Roof, and as the name suggests it involves gunfights on roofs. Players must visit one of two locations and eliminate all enemies on the roof before using a cargo bob to tow away a container with a surprise. The last change to the biker's career comes via the custom motorcycle garage, which can be used to customize and deliver bikes for NPCs. It's very similar to the auto shop in GTA Online. However, presidents cannot task workers with delivering the bikes, which spawn in the clubhouse. There are notifications once they do. CEO Crates has always been a fan favorite business, and with the Criminal Enterprises update, users are going to love it even more. The first significant change comes in the form of new warehouse staff. Lupe is the new staff manager, and they can interact with her, or her team if there are multiple warehouses, in the warehouse. She helps source additional crates, so gamers can take a little time off. The team charges $7,500 and sources one, two, or three crates at random. This is a great change as it adds a passive aspect to the business which needs the most grinding. Another new cargo in the form of mixed goods is available once daily, 48 minutes in real life. Players can talk to the office assistant to find out the whereabouts of the flatbed truck holding the goods. Once acquired, the truck needs to be delivered to the terminal for payout. This is not affected by high demand bonuses in public lobbies. GTA Online Grinders also got two new crate sourcing missions to add to the variety and entertainment. However, the first mission is very troublesome and time-taking. Unfortunately, users trying to source a single crate can also encounter this mission. They should consider switching lobbies once they see either go to Hookies or Del Perro Beach. The second new mission isn't as bad, but it isn't easy either. It involves gamers storming into an auto shop full of enemies to steal a loaded van. GTA Online's Criminal Enterprises DLC also showered much love on the nightclub and its warehouse. To start, players can now call Tony to launch nightclub popularity missions. The popularity percentage can also be viewed once the call is connected. There are two new missions to help keep the nightclub relevant as well. The first mission tasks them with destroying a drug operation owned by people calling themselves the official suppliers of the hottest nightclub in town. The second new mission has users retrieving some incriminating evidence for Tony. They must sneak into the journalist's house and plant a virus on his PC. After that, 
the paparazzi needs to be killed, and the evidence delivered to the nightclub. Nightclub owners must also care for patrons who enter but refuse to leave. In other words, owners will now receive texts from Marcel about guests creating a ruckus. Most missions are straightforward and take about 30 seconds, but the ones involving VIPs take a little more time. Coming over to the real money maker, the warehouses have also had a few changes added to them. Like Lupe in CEO warehouses, the nightclub also has Johan. However, he only interacts with gamers over the phone. Upon calling him, owners can start a crate sourcing mission for the nightclub. While on call, they can see the value and percentage of stock in the warehouse as well. The warehouse was entirely passive before the Criminal Enterprises update, but now, players can increase the speed at which they fill up by sourcing additional crates. GTA Online gamers can now also call Tony and request either the Patriot Stretch Limo or his personal car. Many will think this is useless, but these vehicles come with a hidden perk. They are armored and can tank up to three homing missiles before blowing up. The bunker also has a few new additions that players will like. To start, GTA Online players can now call Agent 14 and launch research missions to increase their speed. A madman with a minigun is in a firefight with the cops, and gunrunners will need to eliminate both factions before receiving the research item to add 20-25% to to the bar. Like the CEO crates, there are two new bunker resupply missions. The first one has GTA Online users kill a bunch of smugglers and then take their airdropped supplies back to base. The second new mission they can do involves hacking a PC to reveal the location of a bombushka. The plane must be hacked to reveal the location of the supplies that must be collected and driven back to the bunker. The gun running business also produces excess stock now. These can be delivered to a designated Omu Nation outlet once a day for some extra cash. GTA Online fans can also call Agent 14 to spawn in vehicles like Tony. However, these are not explosive or bulletproof in any way.